You can have a bad fuse in here. Breaker could be bad. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, so the AC went out at the condo, and we needed to check everything, and we found that it was electrical. So we decided to go ahead and pull that panel off of there and check the circuit breaker, the 30 amp fuse that the AC was connected to. So that's what we're doing right now. I hired a licensed, insured uh, HVAC, you know, a guy who does um, ACs, to come and do this for me because. I don't really want to fool around with electricity because it's super dangerous. So this is what we did. Got her. Okay. Right now we just got to check that fuse, huh? And he has all the tools that you need to check this stuff with. Yeah, I don't know. Look at it. And it didn't take him very long to figure out that we had a problem. You had a bad breaker. It's a bad breaker? Yep. All right, we can just switch that out then. Do I have an extra breaker right there that's not being used? No, I don't. All right, we got that. And the last thing I want to do is get electrocuted fooling around with this panel. Oh, man. <laughs> that's hot, isn't it? No. Not at the moment. As you can see, he pulled uh, that 30 amp fuse out of there with his pliers and then used a Phillips head to uh, loosen those wires. You got a couple breakers in here? I don't, but we can run to Home Depot. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. But just to be sure, turn this one off. Make sure, let's make sure that we don't have only one leg of power here first. All right, I got it. I got 240 there, see? So that's good, right? Yeah. All right, so we so got this, this breaker's good. Okay, so we'll leave that one off. All right, so. What do we gotta get? 35 amp square D. That's not open out. So that one's no good, huh? No. If you guys have to do something like this, I highly recommend hiring somebody you know is a reputable uh, mechanic. Yes, sir. Not showing you anything. Alright. Yeah. It should be beeping. So it's not? No. Right, exactly. So this is the one we need right here. Unless I mean are you guys cooking anything? Yeah, they're I think they're cooking something. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say I can take another breaker and stick it there for right now so you got AC. But should we just run over there and get one? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's do it. And off we go to Home Depot. This is what we need right here, right? Yep. All right, cool. That's it? That's it. That's what we need. That's what we need. Right, here's our old one. <laughs> I don't want to mix them up. <laughs> We're going to put that bad boy in there. So first he's just going to loosen the two uh, Phillips head screws. And then he's got to push those two wires in there and then tighten them down. So it's pretty basic, you know, it's just, you know, unscrewing and then screwing <laughs> so he's got that one he's shoving it in and then he's going to tighten her down righty tighty lefty loosey make sure it's in there good and then uh crank it down with that phillips head screwdriver bam done make sure you get it tight enough because you don't want it coming out and then do the same thing with the other side and uh the tough part though is going to be getting it back into place because they don't go in easy, to tell you the truth. You'll see in a second. And you can see how thick those wires are, so you wanna make sure you get them in there really good and that they're not loose. And then you gotta slip that slip that breaker in there and push it onto those contacts, which is not easy. So he had to use his uh, wrench to pop it on there. And uh, it's not the most elegant way to get it back in there, but um, finally he got it on. I don't want to go in there. You had to bang it a little bit. Finally went into place. All right, let's go see what we got. So we check it. All right, so we're good? Yeah. Everything's on? We got the panel right here. I think it might be. Tip it upside down. Oh, no, that's the way it was. <laughs> Alright, we'll put the screws back in. 
And Bob is your uncle. Excellent job, Pat. Way to diagnose that. Damn it, I would have never thought to look at that breaker. I would have never thought, I would have had the whole, I would have had the condenser taken apart. I would have, the, I would have taken the whole unit up, the air why, handler apart. That's why that meter right there is your best friend. Right there. You. Yeah, you got, this is what you need. Yep. So first thing, check, check your breaker, right? Check your power. Check your power. So you go around and check the power and everything. All the time. So we should, on that on that new thermostat, might as well just leave it in there, right? Yeah, you got it now. Um, the, uh, I was thinking um, it's a battery powered, so we got to change those batteries every once in a while. Yes, but when you do that, come over here and shut this breaker down. Shut the breaker down before you do it. Yes, right. otherwise it'll blow, the, uh, blow that fuse. Okay, so shut the breaker down before we do that. Yeah. All right, we're good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we fixed it. Now we just got to turn the AC down. It's at 86. It's on cool. It's on on. Set at 40, 74. It's blinking. Oh, it's blowing fucking freezing cold. Is it? Is that cool? Yes, we have air. All right, hey, check out the hippie pad. <laughs>